top of the morning. Uh, just got a little inspiration to give a quick shout out for a couple of uh, cool ideas. Um, one of the big ones for us uh, at Intrigue in terms of marketing, and I think this kind of falls short a lot for people. Uh, and it kind of it comes from the E Myth, which is I don't know if you're in business and you haven't read it, and you're running your own show. Um, I would highly recommend it. It's a really simple read, and it's like the, the bare bones of what it takes to grow a good business. Um, but it's really, really good, and all the principles in it are awesome. E-Myth by Michael Gerber, The E-Myth Revisited, is a great book. But one of the concepts in it, and they skim, skim by it, but we've kind of uh, latched onto it. It's one of the first books we ever read when it came to growing intrigue. It was this idea that 50% of marketing is making the promise to the marketplace. And I think that's where a lot of people focus their time and energy and resources, crafting a great message, figuring out their audience, figuring out what they want to say to them, um, and then trying to figure out how to measure it and plan it properly. And that's great. I mean, you got to keep that up. you got to do that all day long. Um, but a lot of times people fall short on the, on the flip side of the coin, which is the other 50% of marketing, which is following through on that promise. So if you're out there and you say to people that customer service is number one and we care about our people and we... All we do is take care of our customers and we want to make sure that everybody's super stoked with how we take care of them and our business and whenever they work with us, they're super happy. And you have somebody who's just a bitch or someone who's just a jerk that works inside your organization and when people interact with them, they don't feel like they got taken care of, well then your marketing's gonna fall short. So you gotta make sure that the people inside your company you, and you as a leader are ensuring that 50% of your marketing is following through on the promise you make to people. And sometimes it seems really simple, but sometimes, and most of the time, I don't see people considering the 50% of following through on the promise. So just remember, when you're making a promise to the marketplace, you gotta ensure that your team is ready to follow through on that promise. It is so critical. Otherwise, your, your, your marketing's gonna fall flat. And it's really interesting. One of our clients said to us, when we were helping them craft their message, we really focus on uh, principles that come from Simon Sinek, starting with why, leading with purpose and using that purpose message and why you start get up in the morning and why you run your, your company to help the community you help. Um, they said to us, you know, this is great. We really want to do this, but I'm not sure if our team is going to follow through on, you know, this type of promise. And we're not sure if we're living this out every day. So what are we going to do about that? And that was kind of the starting point in terms of like uh, entry, trying to help people build their culture and build their people, help recruit a talent so that they can actually deliver on that promise. Because everything in your company is marketing. Any interaction that your customers have, whether it's how someone picks up the phone, how someone gets greeted at the door, uh, the, the, the style of your invoice, because like, you know, people don't like bills, so if you're all about customer service, then what are you gonna do to make your invoice stand out a little bit and be aligned with that idea? So remember guys, marketing isn't all about making the promise. It's also about delivering that promise and following through. Hope that's a cool little tip you like, and uh, yeah, leave comments and questions below and I'll address them as when I get them. Thanks guys, peace.